And let me just make this disclaimer about this video I'm talking about. I'm not talking about fornication. Okay? Sex is only if you are married. Okay? It's only for the married people in the kingdom of God. So let's get this straight. I don't want my words to be twisted. I don't want them to be taken out of context or misconstrued. All right? Be blessed. Let me tell you something. God has to know that he can trust you. I want you guys to know that you must be born again. Okay? You must be delivered from yourself when you come over into the kingdom of God. You got to be delivered from sin. You got to be plugged up <laughs> to God's life-giving spirit. Okay? You got to have the Holy Spirit living within you. You have to have a relationship with Christ and then God has to know that he can trust you now I'm not talking about trust you you know what I'm saying about money trust you about things or with his things I'm talking about he has to know that he could trust you the person that he created <laughs> you your integrity your character okay your heart the type of person you is he gotta know that he can trust you Okay, we, we must fear God. Okay, he got to know that if he give you a finger, that you're not going to take the whole hand. If he give you a, a, his whole hand, you're not going to take his whole arm. You know what I'm saying? And this is what we see a lot of people doing. God has to know that he can trust you. All right? Once you come in Christ, there is no sin. There is no sin. This is why there is no condemnation to those who be in Christ. You have his Holy Spirit living on the inside of you. That's leading and guiding you throughout your, your life, your journey with God. But you have a relationship with him. And when you have a relationship with Christ, all things are permissible. But not all things are beneficial. So when you got a relationship with Christ, God will tell you what you can do. And what you cannot do, that's between you and God. Everybody's relationship is different. What God might permit me to do, he might not permit you to do that. It just depends on how he made you, really. You know what I'm saying? Everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial, guys. All right? So, when you have a relationship with God... You walk with him every day. And so you go you go to God and you be like, God, can I have this? Lord, can I do this? Lord, can I go here? Lord, you acknowledge God in, all, in everything you do in all your ways. This is what you do when you're in a relationship with God. It's a real relationship. It's not fake. It's not play play. Okay. A lot of people condemn people, but the Holy Spirit came to judge, came to judge, came to call sinners to repentance. God came to save those that is that are lost, okay? He came to save, not condemn. God wants to give you life and life more abundantly, but you have to get him. He is the life giver. You have to give your life over to Christ. You have to die to your flesh so you can live in his spirit. This is a requirement before you get God's hand. Okay? We got to seek God for who he is, not for what he gives. So many had it backwards. As if God don't see your whole heart. As if he don't know. You inside and out. You can't trick God. You can't negotiate with God. You can't scheme, plot on God. You can't do that. God knows all about you. That's why we must worship him in spirit and the truth. Because you got to be authentic. It got to be for real. You got to be real. All that pretending play play, they got to go. They got to go. They can't come. I just want to make this clear because a lot of people think that 
when you come to Christ, you have no life. This is what I thought. You know? Oh, I thought there ain't no life. I can't do nothing. This is that and that. And I always ask God. I'm like, well, God, what does having life and having that much more abundantly mean if I can't do nothing? And God never said that you can't do nothing. God never said that. But see, as you continue to walk with God, he will tell you, he will, he will, he will lay it out for you. You will come to know what it means. You will get deeper understanding and revelation of his scripture. And so that's what I had to do. I had to come into understanding and the real true knowledge of God and who he is. God, cool. God cool. He God is cool, but you gotta have a relationship with God. God is holy as well. He's love. And he also got wrath and judgment for you as well. Because he chastised the ones he loved. But God is cool. He's understanding. He wants you to come to him. With who you are. With all of you. Withholding nothing. Speak your mind. Everything that's on your mind and on your heart. You could tell God about it. God wants you to be real raw with your emotions. He don't want you to sugarcoat things. Eki tell you in my soul. He wants you to be. Who he created you to be. He don't want you to sugarcoat. Dummy down. None of that. And he gets you to the real you. Until the real you stands up in him. Alright y'all. So. That's all I want to point out. God got to know that he can trust you. Alright. Be blessed.